Imagine a world built just for mice. No predators, unlimited food, cozy nesting spaces, a true rodent paradise. This was the vision of ethologist John Calhoun in the 1960s. He wanted to understand how mouse populations would thrive in ideal conditions. Little did he know his experiment, dubbed Universe 25, would reveal a dark side to utopia. Calhoun's findings would send shockwaves through the scientific community, raising profound questions about social behavior and the very nature of existence. Calhoun's experiment was simple in design but profound in its implications. He created a large enclosed space, a rodent city, with everything a mouse could ever need. Food, water and nesting materials were plentiful, eliminating the need for competition. Diseases were kept at bay with meticulous hygiene. It was a veritable Eden for its furry inhabitants. Initially, things unfolded exactly as expected. The mice, released into this utopia, thrived. With unlimited resources and no threats, they reproduced at an astonishing rate. The population doubled every 55 days, painting a picture of unbridled success. It seemed Calhoun had created a blueprint for a thriving society, or so it seemed. The enclosure, meticulously designed, featured multiple levels, ramps, and nesting boxes. This intricate setup allowed Calhoun to observe the mice's behavior in detail. He meticulously recorded their movements, social interactions, and reproductive patterns, amassing a wealth of data. The initial phase of the experiment was a testament to the resilience and adaptability of these tiny creatures. However, this idyllic existence was not meant to last. As the population soared past 600, cracks began to appear in this seemingly perfect society. The once harmonious mouse utopia started to unravel, revealing a darker side to overcrowding and abundance. The behavioral shifts were subtle at first, almost imperceptible. With more mice vying for the same resources, a social hierarchy emerged. Dominant males claimed the best territories, leaving subordinate males with limited access to food and mates. This led to increased aggression and fighting among the males, disrupting the once peaceful social order. The females, overwhelmed by the constant mating advances, became increasingly aggressive, neglecting their maternal instincts. Descent into Chaos The situation took a turn for the worse with the emergence of a new class of mice, the wretches. These were young males who failed to establish a place in the hierarchy. Rejected and ostracized, they became withdrawn, displaying apathy and social isolation. These wretches exhibited bizarre behaviors, engaging in pointless fighting, excessive grooming, and cannibalism, despite the abundance of food. The once thriving mouse society was now in a state of chaos. The social fabric had disintegrated, replaced by violence, apathy, and despair. The breakdown of social norms had a chilling effect on the population's reproductive rate. Females stressed and overwhelmed stopped caring for their young and in some cases, even attacked and killed them. Infanticide became rampant, further accelerating the population's decline. The Living Dead Amidst this chaos, another group emerged, the Beautiful Ones. These mice were obsessed with grooming, their sleek coats a stark contrast to the disheveled appearance of others. However, their beauty masked a chilling truth, they were completely withdrawn, uninterested in mating or socializing. They were the living embodiment of social isolation, a haunting reminder of the colony's demise. Calhoun observed this societal collapse with growing concern. He categorized the mice's decline into two distinct stages, the first death and the second death. The first death was a social death marked by the loss of social roles, identity, and purpose. The second death, the physical one, was merely a matter of time. A warning for humanity? The Universe 25 experiment, though conducted on mice, holds chilling implications for human societies, it serves as a stark warning against the dangers of overcrowding, social isolation, and the breakdown of social norms. Calhoun's work became a touchstone for urban planners and sociologists, urging them to consider the social and psychological needs of city dwellers. Could our complex human societies be susceptible to the same fate as Calhoun's mice? The experiment stands as a stark reminder that even in a world of abundance, other factors can contribute to societal collapse. It underscores the importance of social connection, purpose, and a sense of belonging, elements crucial for the well-being of both individuals and societies as a whole. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe.